Welcome to the SAP Business Technology Talk. And in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about the SAP Data and Analytics Strategy. SAP Data and Analytics is part of the bigger SAP Business Technology Platform and a very important category out of it. When we design our data and analytics platform and offer you the portfolio that is currently in place, it is with five key elements in the back of our mind. Five key elements that define our vision, our strategy around data and analytics. And before going into those five, data and analytics for us is anything starting from the database, going through the master data management and data quality control, towards maybe the semantics and the warehousing and all the way in the end to the analytics and the consumption layer. Well, what are those five aspects that's so important for us to drive the strategy? On number one, keeping things in context. And what do I mean with that, keeping things in context? Within the data and analytics strategy of SAP, we try as much as we can to ensure live connectivity. We can assure you that towards any SAP source system. And when connecting live to data without moving the data, you like to understand the context of any data point that you have. Think of a dashboard that accesses an S4 HANA order in a live way. I'd like to know its currency settings. I'd like to know its access control, low level security. Maybe it's part of a certain hierarchy. Who created the order? From what source system did it come from? Well, all those aspects, all that context, we keep in mind when we live connect to that data. Utterly important, especially if you know that 80% of current data and analytics projects fail because there's way too much attention to the technology opposite to where the attention should be on the data. That is why keeping things in context is so utterly important for us. Number two in our data and analytics strategy is the strong respect and emphasis on getting the compliance and governance correct. That is why we have this big pillar around master data governance in our technology. With regulations getting more intense and even more complex all the way, you have to have a very strong central compliance and governance element in your technology. You have to have a very strong central semantics that can blend and, and, and centrally organize all the data in the most appropriate way. For us, a very important element and a strong investment area, compliance and governance. On number three, is that we respect the closed loop of analytics all the way in our strategy. What do I mean with closed loop of analytics? Well, what we do in our technology, we ensure that you can monitor data as in looking back, business intelligence. You can project your vision as in planning, business planning, and you can even simulate between the two of us with predictive analytics. So basically what it means, you combine business intelligence, planning and predictive analytics in one tool. Yeah, everything is together. So you can always compare in what if analysis, for example, your budgets and your actuals. We can use the predictive engine to even predict your forecasts. Yeah, so we call this the closed loop of analytics. On number four in our data and analytics strategy is the portability. With a lot of customers now gradually moving to the cloud, we want to ensure that you can work on the hyperscaler of choice, whether that is Azure, Google Cloud Platform, AWS, Alibaba, the SAP plat cloud platform, you choose the hyperscaler of choice or maybe multiple hyperscalers of choice. We also ensure that you can ingest data from the hyperscaler into the SAP data and analytics platform, but you can also push data from our platform out onto the hyperscalers. And then number five, we have the very, very strong ecosystem of partners. 
with those partners, and those are not only the big system integrators, but also a whole big bunch of boutique partners, specialized partners around data and analytics, we ensure that you can always implement your projects with the best skills available on the market. Those same partners also help us bettering and, and, and fulfilling our business com content offerings. With business content, you can make a kickstart in certain use cases using our technology. So in summary, the data and analytics strategy of SAP is based around five key pillars. Number one, keep things in context. Number two, respect governance and compliance with an utterly strong engine. Number three, the closed loop of analytics with BI planning and predictive analytics coming together. Number four, the portability. You choose the hyperscaler of choice. And number five, the very strong SAP ecosystem that we offer around data and analytics. Well, I hope you liked this episode of the SAP Business Technology Talk. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you back again in the next episode. Thank you so much.